meeting him was the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, he really changed the whole course of my life. So very grateful, and you know I'll miss him. He's, he's never going to be another Bobby Frankel. We can only try to take pieces of what he did and, and, and do it over if we can. But he was so unique and had such a real feel for horses that um, he just uh, he just can be hard to replace. Uh, you know, me as a jockey, I don't go for him too much. Definitely, I win some races for him, but uh, he was a pretty fair guy. You know, a lot of people say when when people die is you know they say he was a good guy, but you know he definitely was a fair guy, and uh, and I think Rice is gonna miss him. Bobby Frankel obviously was a great, great trainer, consummate horseman. Started from the bottom of the barrel in the claimers and was able to, to develop some great horses through the years, through Judd Mon, other great stables. You know, as far as a person, I really didn't know him that well, other than I knew he was a brutally honest guy. He was not uh, different from his regular public persona and his personal persona. He was the way he was. He was very uh, opinionated, and he uh, was not a phony in any which way. So you could say about Bobby Frankel that the, the, he wasn't uh, one person in, in one respect and then another person, you know, to, to sugarcoat things. He was definitely a... Uh, uh, opinionated and I'm sure very stubborn, but he was a hell of a horseman. Well, Bobby was, uh, I remember his very beginning. I used to ride a horse by the name of Bateman for him, a great horse. Angel used to ride himself also. With Angel, he used to go to the lane with me, he used to come from off the base. But we had fun, we won, we won a lot of races for, with Bateman and for Bobby. Uh, Bobby was a hard working man, very, very dedicated. He learned from the best and he became one of the best. And uh, we lost a part, a big deal. Uh, uh, we lost a, a big part of a, a racing uh, legend. He had always had the courage of his convictions. He always thought he was right. He, he really was confident. He had that inward confidence, yeah. He, he, he was a big believer in speed. He used to love to bet on speed when he was betting horses. And especially there was a jockey named Ustry that was really a champ on the lead with horses. He, 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 he bet a lot of money on Ustry and speed. Yeah. But I sold him his first horse. Her name was Pink Rose. He won with us, too. Yeah. Then he started claiming. Then it, it, it's funny, he, he, his biggest client when he started was named Franco, but no relation to him. And he, he, he did good right from the start. Yeah, Bobby had opinion. Uh, he had pretty strong opinions, but uh, I always had a soft spot in my heart for Bobby because he was the guy that recommended me back in the uh, late 90s to train the Eastern Division at the Judmont Racing Stable. And uh, I was always appreciative of that opportunity because there were a lot of really nice racehorses. Uh, Bobby's accomplishment as a trainer were pretty much uh, unprecedented. He came from moderate means and became one of the greatest trainers we've uh, had around. And uh, he's sure going to be missed. Uh, I always like talking to him, picking his brains, uh, talking about stallions. And uh, one thing about Bobby, you know, he always got the straight as far as he saw it. And we're sure going to miss him. And Bobby Frankel's a legend that we'll remember for years to come.